<laughs> this may or may not be excessive. Okay, so after getting the label maker, I've been trying to work on getting spacing and figuring out how exactly I want to to lay out these labels for all the axes. So I did all of that. They're all labeled now on the motors X, Y, Z, limit switches, and then I got the probe. I got the, for, for all you 3D printer folks, that's not extruder. That E is for the E stop. <laughs> I had to th think for a second there. Um, and then you got auxiliary, which is for the vacuum and the, um, the motor on and off. So I did that and I also got all the wiring done. Got all everything heat shrunk together, soldered together. Everything is wired in. Um, you can also see I got that female connectors. I got both of those in. Um, one design flaw I found out was with this guy. Let's spin it around real quick. You can see how close the board is. I don't know if it's, there's still so many wires. You can't really see, but the board, the breakout board is really close to the wall over here. And then the, the bulkhead connectors here are really close. So it's kind of hard to get wiring down into here to get to that one side of the board. So besides that, everything seems to be going together fine. I got all the drivers also wired up to their connectors. Um, so yeah, now it's pretty much all tidied up, at least for here. Now I gotta go take it over there, plug motors in, configure it on um, Mach 3, and then you know, see if see if we can get some motors moving, get things going back and forth. Of course, I gotta clean this off. So give me a minute to clean this off, bring the box, that guy, over here, plug in the ethernet, plug in the motors, get Mach 3 up. I'll try and work on probably the pins first, and then once I get it figured out, I'll come back and I'll show you guys what I did. So stay tuned. Okay, so we got everything plugged in. Box is on. I don't know if, if you can hear it, but the fan's going. You can actually feel a good bit of suction coming through these holes. Um, I don't have the top screwed on. I might leave it cracked to help with ventilation, but everything is plugged in. You got the ethernet cable right there. You got power over there. Of course, the fan is blowing. Um, the only thing I don't have plugged in are the limit switches. I've never run with limit switches, but I decided to wire it up to just have the enclosure done for when or if I ever do put limit switches on each of the axes. Um, I did also, while the camera was off, finish up the actual limit switch cables, you know, Z limit, X limit, Y limit, but they only go off to endless strands of wire. So I do have limit switches to use. I just need to figure out how I'm gonna attach them. I might get these guys back up and running and 3D print something to fit into here, to these channels to align and with the, with the linear rails. So um, just to show you guys that I did get it running, We'll do X. Uh, hold on. I need to get Mach 3 open. Okay, Mach 3 is open now. Now I can do X. Ready? We'll do Y, up and down arrows. Very slight movement. I do need to, to change the acceleration and speeds for the Y and the Z because I'll do the Z right now. Go page up and down. Those are both pretty slow compared to the X. X is a lot more noisy too. So 
I need to update those in Mach 3. Uh, one thing I wanted to go over too before we get into Mach 3 is just to show you, I did show you on the C10 board, the parallel port board. Uh, this is the wiring layout that I did for the breakout board for the smooth stepper board. So this is port one and port two. Uh, you did see a glimpse of it when I was off the Mach 3 page here. This guy. So this guy plugs right into the smooth stepper board, which is where I got the, the two female connectors. Those were what those plug into. But just to go quickly over this, just to, if you guys are trying to do your own wiring, I got my X axis here. On the drivers you get, I think each side of these have, have six inputs. You got the pulses, directions, I think ENA is enable. Um, then you got A plus and minus, B plus and minus. Those go to your motors. I might go over that at a later date, but when you go and wire these up. Um, and then you got the voltage in the ground from your power supply. Depending on what drivers you have and the setup you have, you might have a different size power supply. I think I have a 36 volt or 24, I don't know. Um, and then just to show you what I do, I have the those little spin-on connectors, aircraft connectors, these guys. So I have, there's four wires here, you see green, black, red, and white. Um, just to show you what I did, these are them. They got like a little notch so you can only plug them in one way. But you have the black, my black wire goes to B plus, green wire, B minus. You got the white wire, that's A plus, and then you got the red wire, that's A minus. So that, that's basically what I do for each of the motors. You got Y, you got Z, and then X is inside of here uh, up underneath if you if you look um, you, you can also see that I, I put some of my extra stickers on the axes um, but moving on on my setup I got auxiliary that is for the motor and then for the vacuum back there those connectors go right up into the solid state relays that are in here so you can see spindle coolant m4 m5 and then m8 and 9 so that's where i have those it's on port one y-axis those are my pins they go to eight and nine and the grounds go there uh i got one lone x limit switch over here because i ran out of space over here on the port two so that's there, pin 12 to the five volt. And then Z axis you have here. I won't speak it to each one, but I'll just show you where they go and then we'll see in Mach 3, uh, the actual setup. So you got E stop, Z limit, Y limit, and the probe. I had to tee off some of the five volts here to get, to get enough um, connectors. So that's pretty much it for the actual board. Let's go to Mach 3 and I will show you how I got it all set up. So I'll set you guys down real quick. All right, so we go to configuration, ports and pins. Uh, for the smooth stepper board, port one and port two, these are for parallel ports. These don't, uh, they aren't used in with a smooth, smooth stepper board. Uh, if we go into the motor outputs, I have them all enabled X, Y, Z. Uh, as you saw on my diagram, you have the step pin and direction pin two and one. Not, this, this corresponds to the pulse, the, the positive pulse uh, line you have coming off of your driver. And then the direction, of course, is the direction one, the direction positive. So two and one, nine and eight, 17 and 16 for X, Y, and Z. Uh, for me, I had to do the, the low active for the direction. I have to enable all those. Moving on to input signals. 
So for me, for when I do the limit switches, I don't have them enabled right now, but for the X positive minus in the home, as well as the Y and the Z, I have them all connected to the same pin um, just to make it easier for wiring and to get everything together. Um, I also don't have that many inputs and outputs. So I just made them all the same. I won't be able to figure out which one is activated, but hopefully I'll you know be able to look and see. So port one, that's where I have uh, the X axis uh, limit switch hooked up to. On port two, you guys saw that I had it hooked up to pin four and then go into the Z, port two, pin number three, and then going down a little bit more, I got two more, the probe and the e-stop, uh, both on port two. Uh, probe is five, pin five, active low. I've been trying to figure out how to get the probe to work. I've had some noise issues, so I might have to get a filter or something. And then the e-stop, port two, and then pin number two. I think that's pretty much it. Uh, Oh, one thing I do need to set up are these guys. I need to set up uh, these relay controls for the spindle and for the um, vacuum, which in this case says the mist and the flood coolant. Um, that's pretty much it. I got to... Now that I got it all together, I was going to cut some more stuff out. I don't know if it's going to be aluminum or if I was going to do a little small wood project. But I got to get this buttoned up. I got to put some stuff away because tomorrow, today's Monday, there's something going right here. I got I got a call from the riggers. They're ready. They're primed. It's finally dried out outside my house because uh, right outside this door is a little bit of grass. It's been a little bit of uh, a puddly mess. So I gotta clean up, clean up this. Gotta move this stuff, shove it over there. Gotta take all this stuff, slide it over there, and then get all ready because tomorrow morning there's gonna be something here. I can't wait to show you guys. So thanks for following me. If you got any questions about this project, let me know. I'm not an expert, but I've been fumbling through it for a couple of years, so I'm happy to share. Also, if you see something I, I missed, you know, let me know. Follow me on Instagram, and hopefully soon I will be able to show you guys this space occupied. All right, have a great day. See you later. There you go. That was easy. Whew.